Hey, good afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I make Dutch oven pot roast. This is one of my favorite roasts to make because it literally takes a few minutes to put together. You only need a few ingredients. Uh, it takes a couple hours to cook depending on what temperature you do it at and you get a really, really nice pot roast. Now, if you don't have a Dutch oven like I do, just make sure that whatever one you're using has a good tight seal on it. Uh, you can try sealing the edges with tin foil. If that doesn't work for you, just make sure you check it frequently and top it up with a bit of water to make sure it doesn't dry out. Uh, if you've got one of these, you don't have to at all. So, what we have today, I got like a nice sirloin tip, about a three pound roast. Um, usually what I do is I wait until they go on sale and then I'll buy a two pack and I'll freeze one and I'll cook one fresh. I got one onion, some salt and pepper, some yellow potatoes, and some carrots. Yeah, they had uh, sirloin tip on sale today. Actually, I prefer using blade roast if you can get it. It makes a really nice pot roast. Either one's good. So what you're going to need first is about six good sized carrots. Now depending on what time you want to eat and how well you want the roast done depends on the temperature you set it at. I got a few hours to play with this afternoon so I'm just choosing mid-range 350. Uh, you can use anywhere from 300 preferably 325 all the way up to 375 for this. Obviously the faster you cook it out like the higher the temperature the less time it takes. So I just trim the ends off the carrots. And if you're wondering why I cut off this much, it's because I want to make sure they fit in the roasting pan. Just give them a quick peel. Now that spring is finally here, I put these in the compost. Once your carrots are peeled, just arrange them in the bottom of the pan. What I do is I kind of alternate them end to end so that way they all fit in nicely like that. Next thing to do is get about six or seven uh, medium sized potatoes that are nearly all the same size. Uh, give them a quick wash and then what you want to do is you want to just like peel off any bad bits, check them to see if there's any eyes on the ends or something like that. Those are all trimmed up now, and I must say I always use yellow potatoes for this because they just come out the best. So just arrange the potatoes in a layer on top of the carrots until they all fit in nice, leaving space at the end for the onion. So get one large yellow onion and cut off both ends. Cut it down the middle and just peel off the outer skin. So once you got that cut in half, you shove one on each side. Mush it a bit if you have to. That looks okay. The important part is you want the lid to close. So get your roast back out of the fridge now. And I put it in the fridge in the middle. Now what you're going to want to do it's just eyeball it. Cutting it near one of the strings um, is a lot easier to handle. And just cut it right down the middle lengthwise. So now you've got two slices of meat there. And I'll just go over to the pan. Just bring a cutting board with me. And just take each slice and kind of mush it in, one on each side. You're going to have to move around the potatoes and the onion a bit until you get that all in. Now if you don't get a good fit the first time, what you may have to do is take out one of the two of the potatoes and cut them in a piece, a couple of pieces so you can get the whole thing in. We have a tight seal so that will not be necessary. Just get your salt and pepper, 
So all this needs is a bit of salt and pepper. It's a nice simple meal. Tastes really good. And pop that into the oven for a few hours. I'm going to check this um, every hour just for you to take a look at it and maybe flip the meat and see how it's looking. It's an hour later. So it's starting to brown nicely on top and I'll actually take the camera out of the out of the stand for a minute just so you can see down in here how the juices are starting to form in the pan where the carrots are there if the strings come off during the operation it's not a big deal so I'll just turn that yeah, you can still feel with the tines that it's tough and you can see it's juicy and the blood's running out. If you do want to, you can take this opportunity to season it on the other side. I usually do. And just get a bit more salt and pepper. There's a lot of stuff in there, so this is not excessive by any stretch. Now what you can do it's still too early but the potatoes are starting to cook the onions aren't even fully cooked yet let's try to sneak a poke at the carrots yeah they're not even close because that's okay because I'm gonna let this go for a minimum hour and a half preferably two you're looking at realistically a two to three hour cooking time with this dish but like I said at the beginning you know it's a really fast preparation and if you start early enough in the afternoon, you can do all kinds of other stuff and just come back to a nice dinner. It's not actually necessary to check it partway through. I'm doing that for you. Once you've done this once or twice, you can just, you know, know your timing and your temperature, put it in the oven, and just come back to it at dinner time. And I'll just get the meat fork to test it. I'm sure, yeah, it's just at that nice falling apart stage. I could probably pick it apart with the fork right now. So it's just time to get it on a board, cut some up, serve it up with some potatoes and some carrots, and there you got a nice pot roast dinner. So that's how I make Dutch oven pot roast. I hope you give us a shot sometime. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.